also directly one form data you can submit to another form you can map one form data to any other form okay here registration html data just i want to forward it to registration jsp okay similar like your surlet only submit your form data to jsp page and in this jsp page if you want to read this form data if you want to read this requested form data here how we can read how we can read we required a request object right we required a request object and that read operations where we have to write the read operations where we have to write if it is a surlet inside surlet where we have to write that read operations under surlet either we have to use service or do get do post methods right so here if you want to read data then we have to use scriptlet right you have to use scriptlet in between scriptlet and scriptlet if you want to read this data you need a request object right you need a request object here right so how from where you can get that request object here finally whatever the code you are going to write here that code finally it is going to place into service method of http surlet right so if you write any code here that code where exactly it will place it will generate one class registration jsp servlet in that servlet under service method it will place the code and inside the service method it will provide us one request object and response object so if you write any statement here a that statement it will keep it here if you write something b that b it will place here if you write something request dot get parameter here the same code it will place here request dot get parameter okay if i write any statement here exactly that same statements it will keep here so is this request object available from the service method yes right so the same request object it will use here whatever the statement i am writing here that statement will use the service method request object so this request object is a service method object service method request object so here using your request built in object you can read data okay so here already they i mean they will prepare here which object they will prepare a request object a session object a out object okay a exception object multiple objects they will prepare here those all objects are built in objects okay there are multiple built in objects one is request one is response one is session okay and context surlet context object and out object exception object config object okay and page context multiple built in objects they will provide here similar like your request object okay along with your request object which built in objects they are going to provide in the service method they will create one print writer object also here print writer out equal to response dot get writer and they will provide as one yeah response object as well available request response out and they will provide here session object also request dot get session it will provide which object http session object so a session object it will provide a out object it will provide a request object a response object okay so multiple objects it will make available through the service method so if you required a request object here what you can do directly you can call request dot get parameter of name it will read your name attribute okay and if you want to read email request dot get parameter of email request dot get parameter of address once after reading data we know what we have to do from here you can pass the data to model part and from there you can keep it into database okay so you can use under controller part a jsp page also here okay using jsp how to read data you can use request object if you want to provide any session management here if you are doing multi form submission okay we did it through surlets right in case if you have multiple forms form 1 form 2 form 3 so to handle multiple forms we required a session object here to keep first form data second form data until finishing last form data we should keep our first two forms data into session right in case if you required that kind of sessions here session object also by default available so you can use that session object also here session and which objects are available here 
request session page page means this okay generally we used to call this right this 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 means what the same instance the same class instance so you can use page instead of using this you can use page and we have out object and what we have exception okay and context context means servlet context object internally here it will create one context servlet context context session dot get servlet context context object also it will make available okay how many built in objects we have one request response session page out exception context and we have few more what else out object available exception object available context page session and uh, and Huh? I think some page context. How to visit it? Okay, something page context. There are nine built-in objects actually. Okay, we'll go through one by one. So these all objects who will make available service method only make available to us. Okay, the service method it will make available to us. So while using this request object, you can get a doubt here. From where we are using this? We don't have any instance reference here. Until unless having instance reference, how you can use here, right? But without having instance reference, also we can use here. Why? Because finally this code it is going to place under service method. So service method will prepare that instances and it will make available to us. Okay. So the reference names only we have to use here. So which reference names we have to use? Built-in objects. Built-in object references. What are those? By default, it will prepare a request, a response, a session, a context, page, and exception, and out. Config? Yes. Config object. Config. And I think it's page context. So these nine objects it will make available by default. So you can use any reference. The reference names you should use. Same names, request, response, session, context, page, exception, out. The same reference names we have to use. Using the same names only, internally, your converter. Actually, one JSP engine will convert from this JSP to servlet, right? So, whatever the servlet it is going to generate. In that servlet, it will make available these fields. Okay? So, you can use this nine fields here. You can use this nine fields here. So, that fields references your servlet is going to make available to us. Okay, so you can call them as built-in objects. So I'll show you how to use this built-in objects here. Okay, I'll go through request and response and sessions and okay context. How to use this? I'll show you. So we know about config and context, right? What are those? Config is servlet config object. Context means servlet context object. Okay, for each servlet we can have one servlet config, and for entire application we can have. One servlet context. For each request, we can have one request and response. one response objects. And session? Session? Session for each browser. Okay? Until closing our browser, it will maintain the same session. Or else up to session timeout, it will maintain the same session. And out means it's a output object. And exception. For doing exception handling, you can use this. And page means this. Okay, within the, like, if you have any declarations under declaration tag, so that declarations, if you want to use in your scriptlet or anywhere, you can call by using this. I mean, instead of using this, you can use page. Page is equal to this keyword, right? And page context. 
So these built-in objects we have. So yeah, as of now we know about simple request object. And if you want to maintain sessions here, how to use session? Just simply you can call session dot set attribute. Session dot set attribute. You can keep any required key and object values. Okay. And if you want to print any output, there are multiple approaches. Using out dot print and you can write output code here, or else we can go through expression. expression. Using expression also we can give the outputs, right? Yeah. I'll show you one dynamic page along with registration. Okay, here I'll take the requirement like this name, email address. Yeah. Name, email address and some dynamic fields are required here something qualification and some dynamic options i want to provide here dynamic options in this dynamic options i want to provide some qualifications like btech mtech something ba ma mca like i want to provide some some qualification details here and these details i want to retrieve from database if I have these details under database, if I have some qualifications table from this table, I want to retrieve this data and I want to populate here dynamically. Once after getting the data dynamically here, I want to do registration and in this registration, what I need to do, I need to read the data. Finally, that data I need to store into one more new table. Okay. Simple student registration in this registration, I required some dynamic options here. This dynamic options I want to retrieve from database. And using this dynamic options, I want to register data into, okay, one more table using JSP page. And here also just I want to use a JSP page here. Okay. So yeah, I'll give you an example. 